Greetings, salutations. Welcome to this Prophetic Insights, Tuesday, September 29th, 2020, where we analyze current events as they are fulfilling Bible prophecies. Safe to Serve International, first time viewers, welcome. I greet you as pilgrims and strangers on this heavenward journey. All right, friends, breaking news. Amazon just introduced its Amazon One, which is a Palm payment method, Palm signature. And I do have a special guest with me today, Dwayne Powell, and we are going to be addressing the issues surrounding Amazon One Palm payment. To get everyone up to speed so we are all on the same page, take a look at this, my friends. Headline, Amazon introduces ability to pay with your hands. FoxBusinessNews.com, September 29th, 2020. Instead of using a credit card or smartphone to pay for your goods, Amazon wants you to use your hands also called a palm signature. It says, it is known as Amazon One. Take a look at this. This is Zoe. Just like you, she uses lots of different cards and IDs to get through her day. What if all Zoe needed was herself? Introducing Amazon One, a free service that lets you use your palm to quickly pay for things, gain access, earn rewards, and more. Can you hear me? Listen. Brother Duane, welcome. Greetings, greetings. How's everyone? So your thoughts on this, what <clears throat> Amazon has just introduced, the ability to pay with your hands, your palm, palm signature, right. your thoughts. I mean, when I first saw this earlier today, I was I was not shocked because Amazon has been leading in this type of technology for years. Um, you take, for instance, last year in 2019, I believe, they introduced the Amazon Go stores up in Seattle, you know, where you can go in, um, I think, with your phone and just, you know, grab your items and go. But now they've stepped it up even, even more with this Palm payment method. I mean, this is something that, you know, is technology really crippling us or, or is, it hurt, is it hurting us? Or is it helping us? Um, to me, it's, this thing is really getting out of hand. I mean, just the ability to wave your hand across something and go. You know, what are people thinking? You know, for the convenience. That's what they're. That's what they're saying. It's a convenient method to shop, quick and easy. Right. And I want to say this: very, very important. That while we love the things that make life smoother and things go much more easier throughout our day. I'm talking about te te technology and these techno technological devices. I want to say this at the genesis of this presentation. I believe that convenience with these technology devices will be one of the primary tools Satan and his human agents use to destroy our privacy as well as our liberty. And for this reason, I believe that this is prophetic. We should not scoff at this. Duane, your thoughts? Yeah, the, the thing about it is, is, yes, we should not scoff at it, but we also should be very worried. I mean, first you... You start off with a palm reading. What other body parts will they, you know, enact after that? You know, what if you lose an arm or or both hands or whatever? You know, what else? You know, they're saying that this is a better system than using like biometric, you know, eyes or face facial recognition because of the privacy behind it. Hmm. You know, and what what happens to the data once it's collected? What what happens then? You know, is it stored? Of course it is. You know, anything that is stored in a cloud is there accessible forever well you know they they made the statement that at any time you can delete your account take a look at this here friends very startling 
It says here, for those concerned about privacy, Kumar wrote, users can delete their biometric data should they decide they no longer want to use it hmm. Hmm. after it has been stored, right? Now, hmm. Duane, you and I were talking about this offline, and we were talking about the culture of payment from Correct. cash. And then we went on and looked at the trend from cash. Then we had checks. How many people really write checks today? And from checks, what do we have after preacher? We have now credit cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now after credit cards, you get, you know, the ability to pay with your phone, which is, which is relatively new. You know, I, I wouldn't say it's a 10 year old technology to be able to pay with a phone. And now we're paying with the body part, which, with your hand. Hmm. So it's, it's moving rapidly. If you look at the years it took, you know, from cash to check, you know, then from check to credit card, some years had passed, passed by decades, now, dec even decades. Yeah. But now you're talking about, um, I would, I would just estimate about maybe eight years, if that being able to pay with, with the phone now with your palm, palm of your hand, hmm. you know, and uh, smartphone technology, smartphone, let, let me play this video and then we come back on the other end of it. Take a look at this. This is Zoe. Just like you, she uses lots of different cards and IDs to get through her day. What if all Zoe needed was herself? Hmm, just herself, right? Look at this. Amazon One could become an alternate payment or loyalty card option with a device at the checkout counter. You, you can use this now. They will roll this out beginning there in Seattle, Washington. And then they are going to roll it out at stadiums to enter your office building, retail stores, stadiums, as I said before. Watch this. Let's say you're grabbing your favorite coffee beverage or heading into the office or checking out. Just hover your palm and you're on your way. It's as easy as that. Sign up is free and takes less than a minute. All you need is a credit card, your phone number, and your palm. That's it. Since mm, mm, mm. You know what came to my mind? Is the fact that the other methods of payment became normalized. Mm. I mean, cash, of course, checks, of course, but smartphone, using right. your smartphone to make payments. Don't tell me that that technology has been introduced to society 20 years ago. No, it's recent. That is not yet old. And now they are introducing the Palm payment. This is Amazon. Now, Amazon owns or is connected with Whole Foods. And recently, I went to Whole Foods. You know, you have the regular line for checkout and the express, express line. All the lines have this placard with the words no cash accepted whole foods amazon no cash accepted and i'm wondering if whole foods amazon are setting a trend will palm payment as a method become the new trend your thoughts preacher um yes i believe so and i saw that sign at a uh, at Amazon, not Amazon, but um, Whole Foods as well. And being that, again, Amazon leads the world seem seemingly in technology and the advancement of, I believe it will become, you know, the a way of the world. But the thing about this, it's not new. Mm. It, it, you know, the ability to play, to, to pay with your palm, it's not a new technology. It's been around first since 2012, introduced introduced in Pinellas County, Florida, which is Tampa, St. Pete area in Florida. I'm and putting they... I'm putting that on the screen right now. Here it is, okay. friends. USA Today. Palm scanners get thumbs up in where? Schools and hospitals. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, preacher. Yeah, so let's say in this article, it, it talks about, you know, let's say a child forgets his lunch. All he has to do is contact his mother or father, whatever, Within seconds, you know, his payment is replenished on the system. 
he scan his hand and go about his day, you know, go ahead and eat his lunch. Um, hospitals, some hospitals right now, um, they accept that as a way to identify patients and also payments, hmm. you know, so this isn't, it's not a new technology at all. It's just something that they're trying to, to, to expand, you know, everywhere now. And uh, in connection with that, look at this here. Let's say you. It says one reason for the Palm payment plan, it is considered to be more private than other methods of biometric alternatives. Also, it's contactless. Mm -hmm. When we think customers, we think customers will appreciate it, especially in these current times. What current times are they talking about in connection with contactless? Preacher. Yes. COVID-19, COVID and That's yeah, a lot, of people, a lot of people are fearful and they will applaud this type of technology. They will. And yeah, they, so they're really playing, playing it and plotting to release something like this at the exact moment where people will accept it. Mm. So, yes, mm. they, they will. And um, this, this is another form of, um, I guess, appeasing the, the masses, you know, hey, look what we're doing. So, hey, accept this. And, and of course, be a champion for that. And also, you know, during this pandemic, there was a shortage, a coin shortage. I'm not even sure if, you know, coins are, I, I haven't seen coins at a store, even, you know, cash now at all. So, yeah, this is the right time. They know what they're doing. Yes. Look at this. Since your palm is unique and can't be lost or misplaced, you can get things done quickly and securely. And with more experiences on the way, Amazon One will help you get even more done simply by being you simply by being you, using your palm. You know what came to my mind when we look at Genesis chapter 47, Genesis chapter 47, and we see how there was a famine in the land and the people began to sell their bodies. Mm. And I see something very similar, not the same, but similar. When you pay with cash, that's not personal. When you pay with a check, a checkbook, not personal, it, it's external. You pay with a credit card, a debit card, it's external. But when you have to put your palm, biometric, your palm, that becomes personal. That becomes intrusive. Where are the boundaries? And that is what I see in Genesis chapter 47, verse 14 through verse 18. The people sold their bodies in order to be able to eat, to get food from the government. It became personal and very intrusive. Preacher, biometrics, palm, forensics. I mean, right, right. I mean, it's here. I mean, right now, some, some computers, laptops, use your fingerprint just to open, of course, your, your computer, your smartphone, you know, your, your thumbprint to open your smartphone. Um, they even have the iris scanners now to open your smartphones contactless so that you're not, you know, inconvenienced, mm. you know, now what if, what if someone, you know, oh, okay, safety, they, they're chalking that up to safety. What if someone, you, you lost your phone, they can't get in your phone. But of course, these, this biometric data is being stored. Your, your, your facial structure is being stored. Mm. Um, and, and what about the people that will become desperate, the criminals out here that, you know, that won't be able to do certain things? You know, we're not, of course, advocating for that. But, you know, just think about the, the crime because they, they say this is a crime deterrent. You know, it will help with money laundering, um, you know, just all types of crime. But, you know, the, the time we're living in is very serious, very serious. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought about the fact that Satan is very cunning and he is shrewd. And how many people in the world who are ignorant of Bible prophecies, when they hear about Amazon One, using your palm in order to make a payment, they are going to think, Amazon One, palm payment, is the mark of the beast. They're already seeing that for other reasons. So when God's faithful Bible-believing Christians 
teachers, preachers, medical missionaries, evangelists, begin to preach and share with them what the Bible calls the mark of the beast, the mark in the forehead, the mark in the hand, they are going to reject that as just a, a myth, a myth, it's heresy, and say, no, Amazon won. Palm payment, that's the mark of the beast. Why? Later on in life, this might be the only form of payment. And without it, you can't buy, you cannot sell. The devil knows exactly what he's doing. Divert the attention. Bring up various devices, technologies. So people will accept that as the mark of the beast and reject what the true mark of the beast is. Should I go into that right now? Sunder rest my law? Hmm? The mark of the beast? Friends, you know what came to my mind also? Preacher, to that you say what? Yeah, of course, they're going to go with whatever the media gives them, whatever society gives them, and reject Bible truth. Yes. I mean, anything that comes along technology-wise, they would swear it's the mark of the beast. Now you're talking about something in your hand. You know, of course, that will be considered the mark of the beast. And anyone coming with a, you know, a book, a great controversy, or trying to give a Bible study, you're, you're, you're a um, conspiracy theory. Mm. When, in essence, this is the conspiracy theory you know at its best hmm. so yeah satan definitely knows know what he's doing um we just got to be vigilant and watch and watch and pray hmm. and that's why i said the convenience of technology will hmm. be one of the tools the devil and his human agents use to destroy our privacy destroy our liberty any closing words well, we, we're living in a time right now where convenience and um, expedience is is what people want. Mm -hmm. Just just to, before we close with Amazon, they just now um, started to deliver with the drones. So you can get a, you know, go online, order your whatever it is, and a drone will drop it at your door, mm -hmm. your, your, your door in the same day, I believe. So this technology of the convenience, I, I think that we have, we, we're letting that just drive us right now. And we, we got to be careful. Yes. We have to, especially as Bible believing Christians, we mm -hmm. definitely have to be careful of what we embrace mm -hmm. and what we, what we um, advocate, you know, in these, these, these days and times. You know, friends, in closing, I want to say this. Are you finished, preacher? Because we could go on and on. I'm done. I would just, you know, suggest that people go read the articles and, you know, see for themselves. Yes. Amen. All right, friends, two scriptures as we close. In 1 Samuel chapter 5 and verse number 4, the Bible speaks about Dagon, that fish god in the Bible. Fish god throughout history. When the Ark of God's Covenant was placed in the temple of Dagon, left there overnight, the following morning, the priests of Dagon came into the temple, and what did they see? Dagon? fell off, bowing down before the ark of the temple of God. That was the one fall. The second time, they restored Dagon. The next day they came back, Dagon fell down flat. His head was, I guess, chopped off. His palms, the palms of his hands were severed. Head, severed, palms, severed. And we know that, that Dagon brings us to the papacy. Wearing that cap, the fish mouth, that's Dagon, modern day Dagon, the Pope of Rome. The head was severed, 1 Samuel 5 verse 4. The palms were severed, why? Revelation 13 verse 15 through verse 17. Revelation chapter 14 verse 9. Do not receive the mark in your forehead or in your hand. It has everything to do with worship. Worship, friends. And of course, the economy is linked to that. Is that point clear? For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Satan said to Christ, all these things will I give unto you. The kingdoms, the glory of them, if you fall down and worship me. The mark of the beast, beast the papacy. 
a kingdom. Back to the point. Last scripture. Palms. Isaiah chapter 49. Verse number 16. This is the gospel. Verse 16. Don't tell me about Amazon palm payment. Let's focus on Christ's palms. That took the nails for us. The crucifixion for us. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son to die for us. A perfect sacrifice that whosoever believes and obeys. Amen. Faith and works. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but hath everlasting life. Verse 16. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. That is where doing Paul and myself want to leave your focus. And remember, when we get to heaven, what will be one of the only reminders of this world of sin? The palm prints, the nail prints in his palms. Friends, let's remain vigilant, examining ourselves, watching the signs of the times as they are fulfilling prophecy and awaken those around us. All right, friends. Yes, the protest continues. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Brother Powell, thank you again. All right, friends. Maranatha. See you on the next one.